Qu'est-ce que c'est qu'un homme Qu'est-ce que c'est qu'une femme Qu'est-ce que c'est que la masculinité Qu'est-ce que c'est que la féminité Qu'est-ce que c'est que l'homosexualité Qu'est-ce que c'est que l'hétérosexualité Qu'est-ce que c'est que tout ce qui n'entrerait pas dans le cadre de ces alternatives On est allé lire Judy Butler parce que c'est d'abord quelqu'un qui réfléchit sur l'identité et sur les normes. Et sur une politique des normes qui ne soit pas fondée sur une identité stable, qui ne soit pas fondée sur une identité éternelle, qui ne présuppose pas une identité. Ce que nous fournit l'œuvre de Judy Butler, c'est des instruments pour réfléchir à cette évidence perdue des normes. lesbian, gay, yes, I'm lesbian, I'm gay, but do I uh, subscribe to everything the lesbian and gay movement says? Do I always come out as a lesbian and gay person first before, say, I am a woman or before I am a Jew or before I am an American or a citizen or a philosopher? No, you know, it's not the only identity. So these are communities where one belongs and one does not belong. And it seems to me we travel, I travel. I was born in, in Cleveland, Ohio, into uh, a Jewish family, and my parents were very uh, engaged in um, politics and debate. And I was never very good in school. Uh, I was a, a, what they call a problem child, a disciplinary problem. And uh, I would speak back to the teachers, and I would not follow the rules. I would skip class. I did terrible things. And yet, um, I was apparently smart in some way, um, but I didn't understand myself as smart. I understood myself as uh, strategic. You know, one had to get through, one had to uh, find one's way in, in the school, in the synagogue. And I didn't really like um, authority. My mother was called uh, into the, uh, the principal's office, the principal who runs the, uh, the school when I was uh, in fifth grade, I think, at probably the age of 11. And um, she was warned that I might become a criminal. And at that point, they told me um, that I couldn't go to the, um, to the school anymore, to the Jewish education uh, program anymore. Uh, unless I, uh, I studied privately with the rabbi. So this was for me terrific because I um, loved the rabbi. And in fact, I skipped the class, uh, my regular Hebrew class, in order to go into the sanctuary to listen to the rabbi speak. And the rabbi uh, spoke about extraordinary things. He. Uh, His name, his name was um, Daniel Silver, and he wrote a book on Moses. So when I was forced to have a tutorial with him, I was privately very happy. And uh, he asked me what I wanted to study. And he was very suspicious of me uh, because I was this problem child. And I told him I wanted to know why Spinoza was excommunicated from the synagogue. I wanted to know whether German idealist philosophy was linked to the rise of Nazism. And I wanted to understand uh, existential theology. And I was 14 years old. Now, Okay, that's, that's sort of my point of view. You could come back with another point of view, but that would be one way of answering the question. You would have to go into both texts and find the relevant passages, and that's your job, and that's something we're hoping you're able to do now <coughs> by virtue of having passed through this course in the way that you have. If you want to say, uh, I find myself moved by what Rousseau says, that's great. Then you have to say why. So... I'm moved because, I'm persuaded, because look at the way this is laid out. 
Because when I read this, this is what happens and this is what convinces me and this is the figure through which it works and that figure works in the following way. Then I'm, I'm moved too. Then move, show me so I can be moved <laughs> like you. <laughs> I mean, I'm old enough to be on television without pants on. <laughs> C'est la, la folie de, de Berkeley, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> son culotte, nouveau sens de son culotte. Pas révolutionnaire. Je pense que non. What's it an aid of? Um, Just itself. Yes, I hope so. Bye, guys. Uh, sexuality uh, is uh, particularly interesting here um, because uh, we might think uh, that to be a certain gender is to have a certain sexuality. Um, uh, and that these two are linked in some way. But of course, we know that they are not linked. You can certainly be uh, a woman and be uh, heterosexual, bisexual, uh, lesbian, or no sexuality at all. Oui, c'est possible. C'est finalement peut-être raisonnable. It is a problem for our gender. Uh, it makes us anxious about our gender. Uh, so, for instance, uh, I have friends uh, who say, uh, I would rather die than wear a dress. Some of them are men, some of them are women. Uh, I would rather die than wear pants. I would rather die than wear pants. One says that one plays uh, with gender. On joue, uh, on joue uh, um, uh, la femme. On joue, on joue uh, l'homme. Um, I would say yes, it's true, on, on joue, mais, um, but it's, it's not always uh, a simple question of jouissance. Uh, it is also a question of jouissance, very often. I love my pants, I love my, I love my shoes, I love my dress. C'est une jouissance euh, très fort, très, très, euh, très magnifique. Uh, but sometimes also it is an anxiety, an anxiety, an angoisse, um, a, a fear, a peur, uh, a fear of loss, a loss of place, uh, a loss of identity. Right. So even when we have our identity and we play our identity, ça c'est mon identité, je joue mon identité, etc. Um, somewhere uh, I know that uh, it is possible um, uh, to lose the identity. C'est possible de, de perdre une, une identité. C'est toujours possible. C'est toujours possible. Um, 